Welcome to Professional Beauty. Hi guys, I am at your surgery again. Don't worry, I'm not having anything done for a change. Um, I'm here with a friend who has, she's had a few problems in the past. She's been getting picked on for various things to do with her facial features. And she's been operated on finally after doing a lot of research and listening to me um, because she's having something done that I had done actually. I had rhinoplasty done here. Um, and anyone that gets picked on for something on the face, um, it isn't nice. So yeah, she's here today. Unfortunately, she doesn't want to be identified, but I'm just really glad that I've got her here finally and she's feeling a lot better about things already. Anyway, I'll get more to the point of why I'm doing this video. A lot of people are completely, like they completely have the wrong impression of what surgery abroad is like. I think they have some impression that they're gonna end up in like some butchery, like horrible place where it's not clean, it's not dirty. Now don't get me wrong, some places can be like that. Um, this isn't one of the places. Um, I spent two years researching uh, before I decided to get my breast enlargement and my nose done. And it was actually only Adam who gave me the impression that everything was going to be fine and he wasn't just after my money. Um, as I've said in my interviews before, um, I've asked for various other things to be done and Adam has actually refused to do them because he said it was actually a risk to my health. Whereas other consultations in England they've actually agreed and said that they'd take my money so that says a lot anyway without getting too bitchy um, here are all the certificates on the wall and this is where all the patients come and sit in this area and this is where you'll wait for your proper consultation with Adam which you'll have probably already had in England here is the reception area <laughs> And here, through here is where the psychiatrist is. So you don't just come here and get operated on. It's quite a vigilant kind of process. Like when you come in, they speak to you, they check that you're all right, they check that you're not like doing any operations for any, you know, for the wrong reasons. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just show you that like it is actually a pretty normal place it's not like some horrible dingy place I'll give you a quick peep down here but there's patients in here so I have to be really quiet and um, down here is where you are operated on and then the bedrooms go through to the side room and um, it's all really nice and chilled out very very quiet it's also on a small scale which is why I chose one of the reasons why I chose here a lot of a lot of places are on a larger scale. It's a bit like a cattle market. People are going in and out, in and out all day, getting stuff done. There is literally, I've counted before my friend went in. There is about three. I think there's three people in because there's only four bedrooms anyway. So you can appreciate just how quiet and peaceful it is, which is nice for people that you know are coming and are getting quite, you know, important procedures done. So yeah. My video is just to show you that surgery abroad isn't, you know, as spooky and and creepy as what some people may make out. Um, and yeah, obviously it's important to do research and things like that. But this is one of the places where, if you are thinking of coming abroad, this is the kind of setup that you want. Um, any questions? Just drop onto my Twitter, um, and I'll answer as best as I can. And I can also point you in the right direction of the people that you need to be speaking to. Welcome to Professional Beauty.